The Penticton Bees battled West Clone on Saturday night in their teddy bear toss game in front of over 3,400 fans of the SOEC, but it was the Warriors pulling on the Grinch suit and spoiling the festive party early on. It was Dylan Brooks opening up the scoring halfway through the first period, scoring his fourth of the year in a rebound in front of DePasquo as the Warriors got out ahead 1-0 in that first period. One more look here. Ben McDonald with the strip in front. Could not finish it off, but there's Dylan Brooks on the doorstep to give the Warriors a big lead on the road. That made it 1-0. And West Kelowna, they kept buzzing. Big stop here by Luca DePasquale off the one-timer by DeClaire. And then at the other end, big story on the night was Angelo Zoli, 17-year-old goaltender for West Kelowna, making his first start against the Vs. He was excellent. Was eventually the third star, stopping 33 shots in a Nice few acrobatic saves there. And then Luca DePasco at the other end, not to be outdone by Zoll. Made a couple big stops to keep it 1-0 in the first period. Both goaltenders were sharp in the first. Big stick save by Zoll there off Josh Nadeau. And then on the rush down the left wing, another big stop by the youngster from Kelowna. Number 33 in black was a big story on this night. Look at that diving blocker save off Jackson Neuendijk. He was dialed in early and often was Angelo Zoll. Sliding save here on the rebound as well, going to his blocker side. Then it was Riley Luciak on a breakaway in the second period and going upstairs on the stick side, eight minutes in the middle frame as he found the puck at the V's bench at center, came in on his forehand and roofed it stick side on DePasquo. Huge goal for West Kona to take a 2-0 lead early in the second period. These were trying to mount some momentum at the other end, down 2-0. You see a flurry of chances here. Frank Jurcevic, a big shot. Zoll through traffic, snares that with the oven mitt. And then on the doorstep, Thomas Bichette can't find that rebound on the point shot from Jurcevic. Josh Nadeau coming in. One timer for brother Bradley. Big stop there by Zoll. Got helped out by the iron as well. The Bees hit a half dozen posts in this game. Eventually, the teddy bear toss goal scored by Dovar Tinley. As the Bears go flying, Mr. Teddy Bear in 2000. The Bears come raining down Dovar on the Tindling. ice. Dovar Tinling, oh, the rebound goal, 3.06 into the third period. That starts the comeback for Penticton. You see the shot by Jurisevic goes up and over the shoulder of Zoll. There in the crease to bang the puck in was Tinling, his seventh of the year. First game back in nearly 10 games as he makes a mark in his return with a massive goal that triggers the teddy bear toss as the fur flies. One more look at it. Jurcevic the shot. Bouncing puck banged in by Tinling. And that started the comeback. That goal at 3.06 of the third. Look at this shot. From behind the net, cascading of bears hitting down on the ice as the crowd of 3,467 started firing those stuffed animals and warm winter clothes onto the ice. A big thank you to everyone who donated tonight as the Salvation Army, along with our friends at Tim Hortons and Murray's GM, collecting those items on the ice as the fans really came out in a big way to support a great cause to help those families in need in the South Okanagan. As if he's gone on the board, it was 2-1, but West Kelowna, they weren't on their heels. They kept pressing. There's a nice stop by Luca DePasquale. And then the Bees try to come back and tie the game. Penalty there negates a great chance in front. And then Ben Burnett doing it himself on a four-on-four -four rush down the right wing, spinning and sliding, but stopped by Zoll. And the goaltenders took over for a bit. You see Luca DePasquale making a nice glove save through traffic. Bees on the power play looking to tie. Angelo Zoll robbing Eider Zunia with a glove stop on that one-timer. But eventually the Bees would get that tying goal. Bradley Nadeau Look at that shot. From one knee, the one-timer in the left circle, the right-handed shot. You're just not going to stop that. NHL prospect rips that over the stick side to Zola at 10-24. His 25th of the year for brother Josh and Idar Suniev tying the game. You can see the look on Bradley's face. He was pumped. So too was the crowd. And that really started to turn the tide. The V's kept coming. There's a crossbar shot by Ben Burnett on the stick side. And then again, a great chance in tight for the V's. But Angel Zoll making a big stop off Dovar Tinling. Penticton really cranked up the pressure in the third period, firing 17 shots on net. But Zoll and the Warriors bend but not break. And at the other end in overtime, big stop by Luca DePasquo. And that sets up this. On the breakaway, Josh Nadeau from brother Bradley to the backhand. Game on his stick. No mistake, as he gets goal number 15, 51 seconds into overtime. 
as the crowd of over 3,400 go into a frenzy. One more look here. Nadeau at the blue line, spinning to his forehand, to the backhand, upstairs, as the Nadeau brothers combine for a game winner. Bees win 3-2. It's 24 straight victories. Still undefeated. What a Saturday night on Teddy Bear Toss Saturday. The highlights brought to you by the Penticton Herald.